Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am showing a small exercise like um, um, the even the corridor how we can set up two three layers cable tray. Uh, so this is the one of the corridor. So I am just running uh, three four cable tray over here. So how we can run the cable tray and uh, like in a different different layer and uh, how to give the 3D tagging over there. So if you are like my video, please subscribe my channel. Just type CT for the cable tray. Shortcut is CT. And I am just giving that uh, elevation 3000. So just I need to make the 300 mm cable tray. I just starting from here. Just uh, I need to draw one cable tray up to here. So this is the one of the layer cable tray. So I just want to move this cable tray up to the wall. So I'm just moving up to the wall. From the wall, I'm just giving 150 mm gap. So if you can uh, look in the 3D view, so there you can see it. Uh, it, is, it is showing like that, right? So clearly you can see, see it was running properly. So if you want to adjust the uh, cable tray, so you can just uh, drop down also because we cannot run uh, three cable trays over here. So what we can do, we just want to move it that one because of this bulk type of ceiling is coming. So what we can do, we just need to be move this one from here. Just move from here. And I just want to move it up to here. And then from here, I need 150 mm gap then i just want to from the here also i can move the cable tray from the ceiling also i just want to give it 150 mm above and then i just want to arrange two three cable trays over here so i'm just checking the space is available so i'm just copying this one from here i can copy and i just put it one more cable tray over here and i just want to change that one service type is i'm just creating like the cable tray two so then that one i just want to move it up like 150 mm gap from this below cable tray ah, i think two layer of cable tray we can uh, run it over here and uh, the same process like uh, i can copy this cable tray and i just want to run two cable trays over here so for example just uh, moving from here just giving like uh, 150 mm from here so this is uh, this is like it will go like that okay so just uh, it to be select like this so you can see uh, the cable trays are running like that so this is the one method uh making the cable trays going um parallelly over here because this is a small corridor okay if you can go to the make the sections also you can create a section and then you stretch it up to here and go to view then give a scale is around 150 and just give a fine so you can clearly see visible the cable tray and you can give the dimensions also from here like uh, uh, from we can go to here annotate just just take the annotations and you can give the dimension the bottom of tray from here and from here also you can just give the annotation like that and if you want to tag it this one you can just tag it also like this wherever you need so you can just tag it uh, properly this cable tray even even this this one you just made up then if you go if you're selecting the cable tray in 3d view so just uh, i need to just make up like this cable tray okay and i'm just stretching up to here i just want only this much cable uh, like uh, this much area so what I can do it, I just want to move a little bit over here and over here. So this 3D view, I need to um, lock it and then to give in the 3D view itself, I need to give some annotation. So how we can give that one, I will show you. So just uh, we can uh, orient this, this arrange the section view with the clear view. Okay, 3D clear view, you can just arrange it and come up over here and uh, you just want to here you can just uh, save the orientation and lock it so they can give the name also like uh, cable tray something like the whatever you need the name so you just uh, give cable tray 3d corridor 
square root over okay so i'm just given like that and the, this the, now see this one you cannot rotate it there like if you want to rotate this one you just need to be go here and unlock the view so that then you can then only you can rotate the view after that you can save this one and uh, you can uh, lock the uh, orientation view so it will not it will not move it right then what you can do you can give the tag gg for the tag and you can see easily you can give the tag for the cable in in the 3d itself you can give the uh, tag right like that like that you can give it so just mention like this and from here also you can just give the tagging for this cable tray and the below cable tray also you can just uh, give the tag like this and select like that uh, yeah it is looking like that right so you can save this views and you can just properly you can arrange the tags for the if you are not a uh, local this cable um, like uh, the view so you cannot give the tag so this is the one option so i will I'll, I'll show you another option for example i just want to make a uh, one cable tray uh, from from here like this for example i just want to make a one lay one cable tray like this and another cable tray also i just want to make it like that okay and uh, just i'm i need to move this cable tray a little bit down like that then i'm just uh, just select this one uh, and you can just uh, see the uh, 3d view how it's running so i'm just offing this section box from here go to vv and section box just as a scope box you can off it so the scope box is off, off from here so you can see how the cable trail run like this right so in here if for example here also you just want to uh, do the uh, same things you can change the scales like 50 100 or 50 or 25 whichever you like it so you can give that one and i i just want to make it some other cable tray also here uh, for example one more cable tray i need to uh, one more layer also i need to make it that one more layer so for example i just want to go to the front view or back view in any way just select this one and move it down you can adjust in the keyboard and uh, you can select the all cable tray like this and copy simply copy this one and copy to above then uh, you can move from here you need to give some gaps like 150 mm so that that two cable trays arranged like that and then after that you just set it, set it down this one okay for for the tagging so you can uh, actually this this one like uh, you go to here you can add some filters also okay already i made it some filters so you can add some filter for example i just have to add the cable tray over here and you can give that a uh, solid fill the color whichever you like it so you can give it that one click ok play so it will it will come like this and after that you just want to uh, if you want to, to make it clear view you can arrange the orient view, view like this okay then then what you can do it i will just uh, press it up down also if, if you if you are happy with the uh, this view so then you just need to be located the first right so just locate that one and i'm just giving cable tray cable tray to 3d2 something like that you can give the good name i'm just giving like this so now now the, you cannot move it this one then after that you can just tag it okay so where you want so you can tag it i just want to change the scale so just uh, if you want to change the scale so automatically that will adjust the scale so you can just uh, stretch it up to wherever you require this uh, uh, the tagging so you can give it and uh, the tag for the below cable tray also you can just easily uh, give the tag properly you can arrange in the 3d view itself so if, if you so so if if you all all the cable tray you want to you want to give it like this the tagging so you can just uh, give the tag like that and tag it over here also you can just tag it this one and up to here you can just adjust it and tag for this cable tray so that is also you can give the tag like this 
so this is the very simple uh, exercise uh, how to give the um, the tagging for the cable the 3d tagging for the cable tag the first point you need to just uh, um, uh, make the orientation should be the 3d view you need to lock it if you unlock that one definitely it will go okay so you make sure it is the orientation is locked then only you can uh, give the tags right so then you can simply give the tags wherever you require uh, straight lines also you can give the tag and uh, you can arrange properly like this okay so just give the tag like this one by one you can give it and you can arrange it properly like this understood so this is uh, the symbol one of the symbol exercise how to give the tagging in 3d views for cable tray so if you like my video please subscribe my channel it is related to autocad and rivet thanks for watching thank you